Hello my friends! Today I have a package and I also wanted to show you a couple of things that I got from the family reunion that, that I hadn't shown you guys yet. So at my family reunion every year we do an auction, a silent auction, and then like a little store. Um, and people donate their items, either homemade items or store-bought items. Um, for a family to try and win in the auction or buy in a little store. It's a lot of fun and it helps fund our reunion so we can have these every two years. So in the store there were these cute little Disney princess teacup things and inside each of them was a little plush. Uh, I could not resist getting Merida and Moana. They're just so cute. <laughs> the the cup doesn't really stay closed very very well with the princess in, but it does clip in place and it stays on without the little stuffy inside. So I have two of these little cups and Merida and Moana. They're so cute. I was just gonna get Moana because it's my favorite Disney princess that they had. They had Moana, Belle, and Pocahontas, I think, and then Merida. Um, but I, I just, Merida's so cute, I couldn't resist. So they I don't know what they are, what they're from, or maybe they came in the teacups. I don't actually know. Um, because a lot of the items are like put together goodie bags using store bought things and stuff. So yeah, super fun, super cute. So I just wanted to show you that before I open this package. So I ordered this before I went to the reunion and um, it arrived over the weekend. Here we go. So they wrapped it in paper and then on the inside of that is cardboard. And inside the cardboard is a bag of dolls. Okay. So, they are very tightly wrapped in here. First doll we got is this Ken, and he's wearing a shirt that is far too tight on him. Didn't notice that in the listing, but that's totally fine. I have lots of Ken clothes. I think I actually already have this Ken. Although, I don't think I have him with a bent elbow. I think I have a Ken with the same face mold and hair color and everything, but with two straight arms instead of a bent and a straight. Anyway, that's a cute shirt. The can is not why I bought this little lot. Um, next, I bought this Cinderella doll. She is 2011 Mattel. She's really pretty. Um, and I really like her outfit. It's kind of cute. Um, and this is one of the reasons I bought her, is because of these boots. They're super cute. And I've been wanting a pair of these boots for a little while now, although it was not in the description that these were broken, and I did not see it in the pictures either, so that's kind of dumb. I'll have to double check the listing and see if it actually did show, but it stays on alright without the tape. It's just this is broken from the the hinge. If you see the hinge on this side, and then they clip once you have them on the doll. The hinge is broken, but it's okay. They clip just fine on, so not the biggest deal. So that was one of the reasons I bought this lot, but the main reason. Um, and I got this whole lot of three dolls. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me. You totally can't see what I'm showing you. Three dolls for 99 cents plus shipping. Um, this is why I bought the lot. I just thought she was gorgeous. Um, oh, she doesn't have anything on the back of her neck. What about? There we go. It's on her butt. I can barely read what that says. It says Mattel, obviously. It's a Barbie doll, I knew that. But I can't read what it says underneath that. Philippines. Oh, it was made in the Philippines. Okay. 
but she is just really really pretty it doesn't have a year anywhere on her so that's i don't know how old she is but um this is why i bought the lot i thought she was really pretty and i just really wanted her so i bid on it and no one else bid on it starting bid was 99 cents and that's what i got it for <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and remember you're never too old for dolls bye